Hello everyone, Skippy here, and welcome to One Piece episode 925. Directed by assistant director Nanami Michibata from Hojong's board, and supervised by Kenji Yokoyama. As an episode that's been hyped up for weeks, it's looking like 925 will have the potential to live up to that hype and then some. With a stylish and kinetic board from Zhang, who's worked on series like Shade of Bako and A Lull in the Sea, looking like it should likely help a praised assistant director like Michi Bata on her debut episode as a director. Combine that with some nutty looking animation from regulars and semi-regulars like Tetsuro Nireki, Katsumi Ishizuka, and Naoto Shishida, with some nostalgic yet modern angular corrections from the solid Yokoyama, and this should be one for the history books. So will episode 925 follow up all the anticipation with an episode that pulls off Soba Mask flawlessly? Well, let's transform to find out. <laughs> This episode covers the first 12 pages of chapter 931, and due to the title bout of the episode being rather short in the manga, the anime extends it quite a bit by adding lots of new character interactions, dialogue, and just sheer fighting to it. Which makes it so some things are outright changed, rearranged, or in some cases removed, but it makes the fight even more engaging and just downright fun. Stuff like Law being this sort of encyclopedia on the Germa and their technology is just so hilarious and great. And the extension of the main action itself never feels like it's not in line with what Oda set forth even for someone like me who doesn't really care about power scaling at all. While I will say that I found the reveal of Orochi's ninjas to be a bit underwhelming and lacking in impact, which is no doubt due to Michibata being rather new, the rest of the adaptation packs an absolute punch when bringing this heavy-hitting brawl to the screen, with more Luffy filler that teases future events being the cherry on top. Zhang's board is admittedly not as heavy on scale as I expected, aside from a few shots, and it does take a lot from the manga in terms of compositions, but I'd be lying if I said that I didn't enjoy his board whatsoever. Cause when the script demands action, he doesn't disappoint. Understanding that Sanji is fighting this large dinosaur, so the fight is framed accordingly, and makes Sanji's attacks feel so hard hitting. With Michibata executing it all quite well, despite the odd mishap with music placement. Stealth Black's name card feels extremely comic book-like, the little transitions into Law's explanation of the Germa feel really nicely composed, and while I'd say that the board is a bit less impactful than say 914 and 915's boards, as I feel like they just had an overall better sense of scale, which is what I'm looking for in battles like this, Zhang's board still perfectly understands the fight at hand and what it requires for its two combatants, with some added spice to the noodles being packed in here and there. As per usual, Kenji Yokoyama dresses most of the episode in his very visually pleasing corrections, that are reminiscent of the East Blue days in areas such as feature placement, and he also brings along his speed as an animator by animating a good chunk of the fight himself, and even pulling off a really neat bit of character acting that I absolutely adore. But the wealth of other key animators on board here hold their own alongside him, and make this one Sakuga packed slobber knocker. With the ever so popular now Naoto Shishida kicking it all off by using his buttery smooth liquid-like movement to bring to life Sanji's raid suit transformation, which goes quite extra in the grand scheme of things when compared to the chapter, but when the battle really gets going, it's actually anime regular Tetsuro Nineki who really starts it all off. Animating Sanji's speedy attacks throughout the entire episode with such bouncy movement and intense smears, and when Yureki isn't animating most of the fight to complete perfection, we're treated to another surprise appearance from the ever so talented web generation of animators. With Ron Desio returning to make Sanji's deflection of page one charge feel super weighty thanks to his great sense of timing, making me so very glad that it seems like web gen animators appearing on major fight centric episodes is going to be a real occurring thing. But it's actually the final moments of the battle that are by far the absolute highlights of it. Starting off with a surprise appearance from Shu Sugita, handling a short but quite complex cut of the two fighting that is bathed in modern effects work in smeary movement 
months before Mitchell Gonzalez takes over and Page One quite literally spears Sanji around and throws him through a set of buildings. And it's only a few moments later that we get what everyone was expecting with Katsumi Ishizuka animating Sanji's final blow on the Dino Man. With a sexy brushstroke impact frame sending Sanji rocketing down at high speeds with Ishizuka's familiar visceral effects work as he literally becomes an effect himself and lays the beat down on page one before rocketing up to the sky and smearing his way through a stylish flip. Ending this absolute Sakuga fest of a fight with the impact it needed to close things off. After 914 and 915 felt like such event episodes that really only seemed to happen once in a great while, I wasn't really expecting Sanji vs. Page 1 to follow that same trend so soon after, but I'm sure as hell not complaining. With a solid showing from a newcomer episode director that's backed up by a competent board, and an array of staff both regular and across the industry and world that do the insane action justice, 925 served our twirly browed banana haired simps moment in the sun well. Next week we'll be taking a bit of a breather from the past two weeks of action with a mostly dialogue centric episode in form of episode 926. With yet another former assistant director Ryusuke Tanaka helming the episode from Yutaka Nakashima's board and Shuichi Ito doing his thing by correcting as much as he possibly can to make it all look polished, 926 certainly has the potential to surpass my expectations like this week managed to do, even if it is mainly a dialogue episode. Anyways guys, that's it for now, I'm Skippy, and they're really out to get me with all these robins next episode.